Omo, like this, they don't bust at those state prison, no. Don't be white house, yeah. Yes, now. Nah. They don't bust white house. See prisoners, they run. Freedom. As I know too now. You prisoner too? Yes. Freedom. Yeah, detain me. Serious. All love with detention. I give my people money. Go, they go to my friend. Yeah. I know that yet. You shop money. Yeah. You shop money. Yeah. You spend your daily. Yeah. You daily shop money. No go investigate me. He remained to go prison two years plus. I just said I was going to try ya. No, no worry. Go. The end says protests have been peaceful all this while. The protesters have conducted themselves well. They have been very, very orderly and behaved themselves appropriately. Unfortunately, hoodlums took advantage of the protests and broke into Benin prison. The hoodlums, according to reports, they started gathering along Saple Road beside the prison as early as 7 a.m., setting bonfires and sending back road users. Road users, people didn't know that they, had, they already had a plan until they launched the attack. So many prisoners were released. Some escaped with gunshots, while an elderly man was recaptured while walking away like a passerby. As if that wasn't enough, they also attacked the Oko Medium Security Center in Edo State and freed the inmates. It was chaos in Edo State today. The facility has the capacity to accommodate 1,300 inmates. We don't know whether it's they release everybody or there were some people there. A, a prison source reported that these people came in their thousands and their mission was to free inmates. Obviously, they had been communicating with the inmates because even before they broke into the facility, according to the prison source, the inmates were already rioting inside the place. According to a report published on April 24, 2020 by Prison Insider, 70% of Nigerian prisoners are held without trial. You heard what that boy said. How Inspector Dele has been taking money from him, from his family members. And I am sure that is the lot of so many of them there. According to that report, at least three quarters of Nigeria's total prison population are inmates serving time without being sentenced. According to the Nigerian Correctional Service, the head of the agency, Jafaru Ahmed, 51,983 inmates are awaiting trial out of the prison's total population of 73,726 inmates. That is about 70% of the total. He said only 22,773 inmates have been convicted. These figures were given during the 2020 presidential pardon and clemency to inmates and ex-convicts. Why did they announce it? They announced it to decongest the correctional centers across the country during the coronavirus pandemic. It is terrible. Another report by Nigeria's National Bureau of Statistics covering data from 2011 to 2015 said that 72.5% of Nigeria's total prison population 
are inmates serving time without being sentenced. Spotting flaws in Nigeria's criminal justice system with proceedings often going on for years without conclusion. That's long. That is why those people, that's why they are happy. Because they had been there without trial. And they didn't know how long it would be. Some die there. If you do not have anyone to come looking for you, bringing food for you, or giving bribes to the policemen, you could die there. Once they look at you and nobody is coming for you, they will just take the person out and kill them. That is what is happening there. Someone, you could be, you could be arrested, kept there for years for, some, for a minor offense. Stealing a handset or pickpocketing or for loitering. Anything could get you there. And once, someone's, once someone is there and no one comes for you, it is a it is problem. It's a, it's, you will be there for, for, for years. Some young people spend most of their productive years in prison awaiting trial. In the wake of the coronavirus outbreak, the government pardoned some people they pardon some prisoners. The Minister of Interior announced the pardon then at a press conference in Abuja. He explained that the president had also approved the release of 2,600 inmates across various custodial centers in the 36 states of the Federation. Now you'll be wondering, who are these people? They were not young people. They were, they were inmates that are 60 years and above. Those suffering from ill health that are likely to terminate in death. Terminally ill people. Elderly people. People that have convicted serving like three years and above. And who have like less than six months to serve. Inmates with mental health issues and inmates with options of fines not exceeding 50000 who have no pending cases. They were the ones that were pardoned. Not young people like this. So you see how, why they are so happy, thanking everybody, nobody in particular. See that one prostrating, that guy is obviously looks sick. So that is why it is like that. That is the reason for the protest. That is the reason for asking for good governance. Why? Things are not working. They are not just working. This system is not working. We have to you have to we have to say it the way it is. It's not working. So that is it. Let's see how far this this goes. But I am sure by the end of the protest or whatever, something would be achieved. This will not be in vain at all. The blood that has gone into it, the people they have killed, all the things that have happened, the maiming, the killing, the, the, the beatings, they will not be in vain. Well, that's it for this video. If you like the video, kindly share it with your friends and loved ones. And please consider subscribing to my channel. You see, subscription is free. No, you don't pay anything at all. Just click the red button. That's it. And while you are at it, also click the notification bell so you get to see my videos as I upload them. I really appreciate you for taking our time to visit my channel. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice time. And please, stay safe. God bless you.